All right, I'm trying to explain to others that it's, I'm finding it's very important to use Morton brand salt substitute and not the other soft substitutes. But apparently, all the other ones differ in their ingredients and what they contain. I don't know if you can see that very well, but Morton's contains potassium chloride, which most salt substitute have. Uh, I, don't think it's, it's, I don't think it's potassium chloride, it's really doing magic, but also contains fumaric acid, tricalcium phosphate, and monocalcium phosphate too. So there's something else inside Morton's salt substitute that is making these cells work the way they do. And the way they work, what makes these cells so particularly special is that you never have to add water to them after they've been made. This particular cell as was made on the fourth month, 22nd day of 2011 and it has never had any water ever added to it. And I know some of you are probably saying, hey, then it's the water from the air. Well, that's why I um, wrap them up in electrical tape and spray paint them. Same thing. So, just to prove it, this is a copper and a lumen cell, so it should be around half a volt. And we're going to hook it up to the multimeter here. Show. Now we're getting voltage, that's the 2 volt scale, so 0.633 volts. And like I said, this cell has never had any water added to it. And it's very important to never add water again because it will corrode the metals. I also have another one here. It's a copper and magnesium cell. This one was made on the 8th month, 17th day, 2011. And there's a steady voltage on it, 1.422 when I first made it. You probably also noticed that there is some green tarnish around, or right there, on the glue. And that is because, you can, oops, the table's starting to fall apart. But you can tell that this is solid. Water has never been added to this cell ever again. And that green tarnish is from when the glue was wet. So when the glue is wet, that's probably when it's at its weakest. And you'll see at .1422, you'll understand why when I show you. We're going to hook it up to the voltmeter. You can see now we're at 1.54 around there you can get it it's a two volt scale too so you can see that it's very I can't I cannot stress this enough um, don't add any more water to it water will corrode it you'll end up with some oxidized metal and don't think that magnesium builds up a oxide layer it really doesn't when it's in water it, it just hollows out the magnesium and the bigger the wire you use or metal you use the longer it takes for that corrosion to appear so it's, it's a tough situation to be and I do think you can make a cell out of water it's just it's not particularly being done it's very important never to add water again so I, I proved it with this cell actually I proved it twice I have this crystal glue cell and also have my stovetop cell. You can visit Limiter's channel and see him do a great replication of the stovetop cell. And what he does so great is that he actually uses Morton salt substitute like I did. And you'll see that he never has to add water period. Not even at the beginning. With these glue cells there is water at the beginning because the glue contains water. It's a water based glue but that water evaporates as the cells rise as you can see solid never needs water ever again and what I like to do is I like to spray paint them paint them or what I'm going to do now from now on because paint is not fully covering I will start dumping them in liquid plastic and there's that five foot crystal cell powering an LCD clock and how you make that cell is you let it dry out. You don't want any water trapped in there before, after you were, when you wrap it up with the electrical tape. And that thing is humming along perfect. 
So it's very important to never add water again. If your cell needs water added to it, then it's using water as a medium of transport. You don't want that. And I proved it twice that you can make a cell that doesn't need water. And the secret ingredient is something inside more than salt substitute. So I know it may be hard for some to understand it right now, but trust me, once you make this cell and you see that this cell is still going even after months. This was created in September, guys. Let's see the focus. This was May September 17th, 2011. And never had a drop of water added to it. So it's very important and it still maintains its voltage. I made hundreds upon cells, hundreds, hundreds of cells over here with all different combinations of salts. All of these failed. Failed miserably. There's even more underneath here. So I so I have made many cells, different combination, borax, new salt, whatever you name it, just plain old salts, cream of tartar salt. Even it, what this one, this one was interesting too. It's the combination of salt, Morton salt substitute with Epsom salt makes the same tick. This one has salt substitute and cream of tartar in it, and it failed horribly. So I've made many types of cells, even used concrete with salt substitute in it so it's very important you replicate what I have done because I have many cells you know, I have more over here too there's a couple more most of these fell here's some Loctite or something like that and there's just I have plenty of cells that I've made fine just the right ingredient of a crystal cell or a salt bag, whatever you want to call it. What is special about this cell is that it doesn't ever need water added back to it to keep it alive. It will keep on producing that voltage. And you can short this cell out forever how long you want. And it will jump right back to its original voltage. And like this one, it started out at 1.422. It's now above 1.42, around 1.44. So, you know, you, you just gotta trust me. You gotta just follow what I say to the T, and then you understand.